Yes, now people, King of the Pit TV signing in. We've got Black Witchery today. This is the first time I listened to this band. This is the first time I've ever listened to this band on record. I have seen them live once, though. Uh, they were on Headline Act, yeah? My friends were supporting. I was on merch, so I didn't really get to uh, absorb the vibe too much. Uh, they were a well-dressed bunch as far as black metal goes. Uh, they pulled a good crowd. They, pu <laughs> they pulled a lot of skinheads, you know. I was kind of shook. I was kind of shook. So this is this is Black Witchery. The uh, title's entitled uh, Black Witchery Metal. Uh, I can't necessarily read the name of the record. Uh, Hellstorm of Evil Summit. All right. It's Black Witchery and Summit else. Conquer it. All right. It's a split record. So this is off of a split record, yeah? Um, yeah, yeah. The front man, what I remember in this band, one thing I picked up um, with what I did see, what little I did see of this band, is the front man had a character. Like, he, he was very bold. And did an incredible job doing what he did. All right, um, he was a very magnetic character, uh, very I wouldn't say theatrical, but very animated. All right, especially the facial uh, expression and so forth. So it was very entertaining to watch. Uh, but this is Black Witchery, yeah, Black Witch in Metal. Let's see if I can raise the claw to this one. Drum is already going haywire with the blast. Exactly what I want to hear. Alright, where are we going? Uh, that drum has got some longevity to be blasting for uh, about half an hour now, two hours. Uh, my head will have exploded within a couple of seconds. Yeah, some funny characters when I saw this act, yeah. My first introduction to black metal skinheads and uh, yeah, some sketchy looking people, I'm not going to lie to you. But I don't know what I expected in all fairness, like, you know, it's to be expected, isn't it? Yeah, vocals are quality. Vocals are quality, drums quality, the riffs is just repetitious, but what more do you need, you know? I'd say when it comes to black metal and black metal influenced music, you know, I'm not too into that mongy, slower, emotional side, side of things. I do just want to hear a wall of sound. I want to hear incredible blast. I'd, I'd go as far as saying I want it to be 70% just drums, mate. Just tempo, blast. The vocals can be as grim as they can be. Not too big on them Viking vocals, you know what I mean? Like the uh, big choir sort of things. I don't like them, but. Oh, this is just an onslaught, isn't it? Uh, there's going to be a couple of fellas there, yeah? Regardless of the speed, the relentless tempo, the aggression, there's still going to be a few fellas, if not half the bloody room. Why not? Why not? You bought your ticket, enjoy the band. Yeah, this is absolutely relentless. Um, 
I'd like to assume that Drummond's doing this completely live because if it's on record, you know, the more than likely possibility that they're ready to perform this stuff live, and that's crazy. Incredible. Incredible. That was just ruthless from start to finish. Lyrical content, I don't know. I can't make any sense out of it. I'm sure it's... Uh, I should hope it's good stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Black Witchery, you get what you paid for. Quality quality band, quality act. Um, like I said, seeing what I saw of them live, the front man does his job. Does his job pretty well. Yeah, I enjoyed that. So that was Black Witchery, Black Witchery Metal from a split. I don't have the title of the full split because I just can't see it. Um, but it seems to be with a band called Conqueror, which I'm unaware of. But the logo's, logo is cool. It looks like um, same graphic as, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Revenge. Yeah. Quality. Black Witchery. <laughs> 